الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونؤمن به ونتوكل عليه ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله اما بعد اعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ونزلنا عليك الكتاب تبينا لكل شيء وهدى ورحمه وبشرى للمسلمين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم سنريهم آياتنا في الآفاق وفي أنفسهم حتى يتبين لهم أنه الحق صدق الله العظيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل لقدة من لساني يفقه قولي رب زبن إلما Dear brothers and sisters السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته In continuation of our series about global events and their relationship with Islamic eschatology. So if we check today's news, yesterday was 15th of August, uh, of no significance to the rest of the world, maybe. But uh, here in India, uh, it is a date where people usually celebrate what they refer to as the Independence Day. So, and that means there is no edition of the newspaper today. So if you want to check the news, you have to go to uh, the website of the newspapers. So anyway, so about some of the events, about uh, uh, global events which are related to Islamic eschatological analysis. It seems while India was celebrating Independence Day, or while most of the people of India was celebrating a holiday, so to say, uh, the world was, the world had an off day too, because there seems to be not much in the news, except for uh, the Palestinians grumbling that Israel has broken the Gaza truce. Uh, as I said, that they are not honest people, the Israelis, the Zionists. So there is no truce whatsoever. It's a continuous bombardment and oppression against innocent Palestinians by the Israelis, the Zionists. Okay, so that was the news about the Israeli aggression against the Palestinian people. Nothing much in it, uh, except for the fact that the Palestinians are complaining that uh, the Israelis are breaking the truce. Uh, the second news is about uh, another group which is very similar to the ISIS and whose members have a very similar mindset as compared to ISIS members except for the fact that uh, they do not have anything, they do not have any ambition the, as far as Khilafah is concerned. Otherwise, Boko Haram is a very much an extremist group in Africa, in Northern Africa, in Nigeria. Basically, this Northern Africa is also very strategic for the Zionists because uh, this area was also under the Khilafah uh, before the dismantling of Khilafah in 1924. So, what people do not realize is that these outfits, these groups, these organizations, Boko Haram, ISIS, etc., whatever. So today's news about Boko Haram abducting 100 boys, kidnapping 100 boys. Uh, for a change, it's boys, not girls. So whenever they are abducting girls, it's basically and shamefully to be used as sex slaves or, I mean, Absolutely shamelessly, they're doing that. And whenever they're recruiting boys, I mean, whenever they have kidnapping boys, it's with the intention to uh, have more recruits for themselves. So basically, that's it. Another hundred boys kidnapped by Boko Haram. So these organizations are being heavily funded by the Zionists. And what they are doing. It's putting Islam, it's defaming Islam like anything and they are, they are broadcasting uh, 
brutal image of Islam in front of the whole world. Basically, it's a Zionist ploy again. It's wo working wonderfully for them, uh, especially it's becoming so easy for them to deploy the strategies when you have herds of fools who join extremist organizations like ISIS or Boko Haram in this case. So once they're able to malign uh, these extremist groups and in a sense they're able to malign Islam, they're going to take control of the territory, the region, and they're going to control large regions in and around the Middle East. It also serves them uh, in their mission of achieving their objective of establishing Greater Israel. So otherwise, uh, the White House, the US has declared that Russia has no right to send anything to Ukraine. I mean, in this case, Russia was sending or intending to send aid to the war affected people but that is not being allowed and in fact the us it claims that russia has no right to do so i mean why the us in fact should answer not to me so that's it now it seems that the world was having a holiday too uh, it's meant to be a joke don't take it too seriously it's meant to be light and a light note so in while india was celebrating or having a day uh, an off day, a holiday, most of the people of India. So the world seems to be enjoying a holiday as well. Okay, so not much news besides this. So there's no point extending this as we had already said before that we'll have this as a daily address. So there's no point extending this unnecessarily, elongating this. So that's it for today. We'll come back tomorrow to see if there are more events which can be related to Islamic eschatological analysis that we have been doing. That's it for now. Wa akhiru da'wana and alhamdulillahi rabbil